We will now look at polynomials in two variables. So we'll start with monomials. These are of the form a x to the n, <coughs> y to the m. So a is still our coefficient. It's the number in front. We usually know this already. And our degree this time is that we add our two exponents. So for example, if we had something like 7, x squared, y to the fifth, our coefficient would be this 7, and our degree would be 2 plus 5, which in this case is also 7. Polynomials will just be sum, a sum of one or more monomial. And the degree of a polynomial will be the highest degree of the terms. For example, 4xy to the fifth minus 3x squared y plus 9x to the fourth y cubed. In this case, the first term has a degree of 1 plus 5 is 6, the second has a degree of 2 plus 1 is 3, and the third 4 plus 3 is 7, so our degree would be 7. Our operations are going to go pretty much the same, and in fact we can still use our properties of our special products. So the special product in a squared case said, in general, x squared minus 2ax plus a squared. Basically what this says is we're going to start by squaring the first term. 3x squared would be 9x squared. We then multiply the two terms. 3x times 6y would be 18xy and then multiply by 2. 18 times 2 is 36. And then finally, we square the last term. 6y squared would be 36y squared. Adding will also be pretty similar. The only difference here is we really need to watch our exponents. They need to match perfectly in order to add things. So we can see that we have an x cubed y and an x cubed y. Negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8. Our other two terms, the first one says xy squared and the second one said x squared y. These are not the same since neither variable is raised to the same power, so they cannot be combined. When subtracting, we still start by distributing the negative sign. This gives me negative 5x squared y minus xy. Then we can combine like terms. I have a negative 4x squared y and a 5x squared y. That gives me negative 9x squared y. I also have a negative xy and a negative xy is negative 2xy. And we'll do one more. For this one, we can still use our property that says x squared minus a squared. So in this case, we start with the first term. 5x squared is 25x squared. 6y squared is 36y squared. <coughs> 